Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with another A10 project. I'm still trying to get my SD card to function the way it's supposed to. Let me show you where I'm at and see if we make some progress. All right, friends. The problem is when I put an SD card in or out, it does nothing. So here is card number one, SanDisk. No luck when I put it in or change it. I'm going to go over to the A10M, and I'm going to take out a card. Notice it says, card removed. I'm going to take this same card that's working, just the one gig that came with our GE Tech printers. When I put it in, nothing. It doesn't show up. If I go down to print from SD, it doesn't recognize the card. Now, if you've got your machine already heated, then your only option is to reboot it, so you lose all your heating. That's the problem with this. So a lot of people said, hey, dude, your card's not good. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to take this 2 gig card, and I'm going to show you that this card is groovy. Notice card inserted just like it's supposed to be. I'm going to take a third card, another one from the GE Tech. I'm going to show you that it works. Notice it says card inserted just like it's supposed to. So then I'm going to bring these over and I'm going to do one more test just showing you that, hey, I've run through this. Nothing. It just doesn't show updated. And it doesn't show anything when I hit print from SD. If I do reboot with that cool little button underneath, remember I lose the heating, which is the drag. And now I can move down and it shows my card. But I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do for a quick test to see if it's the reader or the machine is I'm just going to quickly take off this LCD and I'm going to attach it where this one was. Let's see what we get. Alright, so you can see here I just removed these two little screws on the A10M. Let's pop the little bracket carefully and move it over to the other one so we can test it. We don't even have to take the other one apart. All right, so the cable was removed from the other one that easily. Then we can simply slide it in and lock it in place and give it a test. And now that we've got it attached, let's just put in an SD card and see if this one works as we would expect it to. Push it in, bam, works just like it's supposed to. So there is something wrong with the one that it came with, the machine. All right, so, uh, hopefully that is enough confirmation that it is something wrong with this instead of, uh, you know, I had people saying my cards are bad and I had people say flash your firmware. Um, I'm telling you, there's something wrong with this and hopefully GE Tech uh, can send me a replacement or tell me what we can do so we can get it right. Uh, friends, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hand me that like button. If you've got a question or comment, add it down below. Even suggestions for what you'd like me to record next. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mike Tech, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.